Social media giant TikTok said it removed more than 7 million accounts belonging to children under 13 during the first quarter of this year. Marvie Delfin will give us the details live. Marvie? Muriel, for the first time, TikTok published in a blog post on Wednesday a community guidelines enforcement report which revealed the number of underage accounts it expunged. Of more than 11.1 million accounts that were removed for violating the app's guidelines, 7.26 million of them were from users suspected for being under the age guidelines. The report also said that almost 62 million videos were removed for violating the app's rules, which were flagged for minor safety reasons for involving illegal activities, adult nudity, and or sexual acts. This move is part of ByteDance's adjustments to make the platform safer for its fans and in accordance to the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, which requires internet sites in the U.S. to obtain parental permission before collecting data on children under 13. The Chinese company emphasized that on top of automatically setting accounts of those under the age of 16 to private since January, it has also limited private messaging and live streaming to users aged 16 and over. Head of Trust and Safety at TikTok, Cormac Keenan, hopes that this detail about underage users will help the social media industry push forward when it comes to transparency and accountability around user safety. TikTok said starting with this report, it will begin publishing its insights on a quarterly basis. Muriel? Marvi, how exactly does the TikTok app know when a user is under 13, given that it's possible to bypass age verification checks by simply inserting a fake date of birth? Marielle, the firm wouldn't say how exactly it knows when a user is under 13, but TikTok has some of the tech world's most sophisticated computer vision technology. According to Joe Tidy, a cyber reporter, it is a mixture of automatic mach machine processes and, interestingly, time-consuming and costly human moderation as well. Many experts suggest enforced full-age verification to be implemented on social networks, but not many parents or children would want to hand over information such as passport details. Back to you, Marielle. Thank you, Marvi, for that report.